what I think might happen is we'll forget all about you. You know, we'll go, we'll do our breakfast and there's only two plates or dinner. And then, um, but I mean, I, I'd make sure that the um, the kitchen hutch is stocked or the garage is stocked. Yeah, I might probably get, um, what's it? What do they call it? Um, mouldy bread or something. <laughs> there you go, some mouldy bread and some water for you. We'll give you our leftovers. <laughs> yeah. Scrape, 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 scrape. There you go. In, 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 in them. Well, here you go. <laughs> There's your dog bowl. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Hey, I might bowl. find one. I might find one with the name Paul on it. How's that? Would you like yeah. that? Yeah, but it wouldn't be one of them big Great Dane bowls. It would be one of them little tiny, tiny ones for a little rat thing, what they call them. Um, yeah. Chihuahua. Ah, oh, okay. Well, they get one mouthful, and that's it. Um, <laughs> Hello, everyone. We don't know if... I don't there's know no if one I'm... here. There's no one here yet. Oh, all right. You can go and finish your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I made sure I put it in the bowl for you. <laughs> you made your... Made... Oh. Do you know what I forgot to do? What? Yes. You forgot to open Facebook. No, my, my Facebook's open. I have no... Well, how, how would I know what you forgot to do? There we what go. What did you forget to do? We're you open. Your We're open. Hello, Lee. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone that's here. All two of you. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <coughs> oh dear. Nice to see you. How are you doing anyway? How are you, Lee? You good? Yes. It's a family affair. I don't know why I'm singing that. I don't know either. No, but we have four lovely people. <gasps> and you know, are they going are they going to get leave us leave us, leave us a lovely comment? And say hello? <laughs> <laughs> or are they people that we already know and then just waiting and waiting and waiting and then they're all in? <laughs> Hi, Lee. Yeah. Wow. I can't remember. Where are you from again, Lee? Lee's in New South Wales. Oh, right. Okay. Have you got Alzheimer's or something? <laughs> no. Yeah. What is it? Early on, sent dementia or something. Hey, I'll set my mate on you. Oh. <laughs> How can you forget where Lee's from? Well, it's very easy. Sydney, see? Yes, I know. New South Wales. Yeah, because she wrote it on there. That's how you remembered. Hi, Mel. <laughs> Hello, um, Mel. Yes. Hello. I, I, I really get worried about you sometimes. I, I get worried. Do you remember what your name is? What's Bob. your name? Bob. What's your name? Bob. <laughs> Oops. I, I, I really get worried about you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 so you, so you, you, you didn't like it. You didn't like it the first time, so you thought you'd do it again, so everybody heard it again. I'm trying to pin the comment, but I've got <coughs> yeah. to turn down the sound. Yeah. Sorry. Oh my god. Levet. <laughs> uh, Levet. Yes, I know. I know. That's okay. It's fixed now. Oh, no. Well, is that one done? <laughs> and that's without me sharing. I haven't no. even shared yet. And we got that. <laughs> I know. Terrible, isn't it? Wow. All right. I've still, hang on. I've taken. Oh dear, I can't even get the comment that I put on there. I'll have to paste it again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a family affair. I keep singing, it's a family affair. It's a family affair. Oh my God, you're going to crack the screen. Yeah. Everybody, I know you don't want to, but look out for Sylvana's grey hair. <laughs> I don't have grey hair. You have grey hair. 
Where can you see the grey hair? You've been you put paint on it to stop it at showing through. Paul, at least I have hair. <laughs> hey, I have hair. <laughs> All up and down the arms. Oh, I don't know. You worry me sometimes. I What's worry me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this part's done. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello, Mel. I know we're waiting on uh, um, Sylvana doing a wonderful job of doing uh, admin. You know, we must, we must be really good if people want to put posts like that on. Yeah, well, we only just came on, and, you know, I haven't even shared anywhere yet. I know. It's weird, isn't it? Um, Hello, Chloe. There must be someone on your page. Possibly. That's oh, all right. They're bad now. <laughs> I'm not on my page no more. <laughs> You're not on your page anymore. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> my laugh cracks me up too. <laughs> No, I can't help it. It's it's natural. Um, my mum used to say I laugh like a witch, but I I don't know. It just comes out. <laughs> I, I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna say anything. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> you can't say anything. You forgot. You don't even remember where Lee's from. What am I doing here? You where don't am even... I? <laughs> I? I better start. I haven't started sharing it. I'll just quickly do that. Yeah, it'll take you about, what, five minutes? Yeah. Yes. So, how's everyone's day or night been so far? Yep. 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 It... <laughs> yep. yep. Oops. Sorry. Oops. Yeah. But uh, don't, don't forget, everybody, if you would like a mini reading, I'm going to read it now. So, all, we, all you normals. Normals? That sounded rude. It does. <laughs> that sounded really rude. I do apologise. All you normal people that come and support our... our yeah, because you're not our... normal. <laughs> I know. Do you know, I, I don't feel normal today. No, I, you're not like normal. There, it just feels like there's someone around that, you know, there's a, there's a good energy around because there, there was a big moon last night. Um, really? Moon. What were you doing outside? Oh, I didn't. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, we. Uh, you know, we had. I think we got uh, three moons in a row. Three super moons in a row. Really, you've been busy. Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm making them up. Yeah, but it. it but it is. It's one of them things that I think because I. Have, well, I could have had my curtains open, but it was a bit cloudy last night. Um, no, don't scare your neighbours, Paul. I try not to. I really try not to. You know, it could work the other way. <laughs> but well, don't scare you. I don't think so. Oh, dear. Yeah, they do. Sometimes. You know, I'm sitting there, and then next thing I know, whoop, there they are. You know, I think you scare them when you <laughs> go out sleepwalking. I mean, they have to lock their doors. Who knows whose place you're going to walk into? In the middle of the night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what really annoys me as well. We've got an, mm. I've got an alleyway next to me. And then they have a traditional... They don't go to the, the, the shops for their milk. They actually get a proper milkman, which is fantastic. But he turns up about one, two o'clock in the morning. And we've got a wrought iron gate, and he really bashes the bashes the gate. Yeah, but we will get to some readings soon. We will get to some readings. But as you, if you've been here before, the, the, we do some chat and some readings too. You know, we want people to whatever we do, it will lift your energies at some point. You know, and we want people to enjoy the. Um, you know, to have a great sleep or a great rest of their day, you know, because it's 
just after well, it's nearly quarter past 10 here in the morning, which is um, early, but it's good. It's nice. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> yeah, the thing is, you know, I, I think people think we're, we're not going to do anything today because they're, they're leaving in drive. I'm, ju I'm just sharing. Yeah. I'm just sharing our, our live at the moment. Mm -hmm. Tuesdays yeah. is really good, normally. That's okay. We'll just have a chat. Yeah, we, we can talk about, I don't know, what should we talk about? Sleep, sleepwalking. No, apart from nothing about me, just about life. What, what, what does life How did you know it was about you? Because it's always about me. About <laughs> <laughs> it's always about me. Hello, Colleen. Hope you're well. Let's talk about Hi, you know, Colleen. Um, I don't know. What what's the what's the best film you've ever watched? Black or white, black and white film. Yeah. What's the best black and white film you've ever watched? Not everybody watches black and white movies though. Not if you've watched black and white films. There you, you know. But if you haven't watched a black and white film, what, all right, we'll generalize it. What's the best film you've ever watched, ever? <laughs> and you've, and and then you've watched it again and again and again because you enjoyed it. But the second time and the third time, you didn't enjoy it as much as the first. Yeah. Strange, isn't it? But uh, ooh, I need to do. Well, that. what's yours, Paul? What's your your favourite movie of you know, the time? I've just come up with a question, so I'm now thinking. There's there's quite a few films. Um, there was one film, um, and I had it on video. I actually had it on videotape. And it was Independence Day with Will Smith. Yes. And I must have watched that about 20 times, if not more, constantly. Wow. Just constantly, and, and every time, I always saw something different. Always, you know, and it, it's, it's just one of the things. Um, it just because I look at films and I think, ah, that one I like. But you know when to watch it again and again, or you know, just make sure you know. It's just, but I like black and white films too because you get a lot of um, uh, what's. You get a lot more in it now, yeah, in that, or in it then, I should say, because they they didn't have all the um, CGI and stuff. They did it for real, <coughs> and uh, yeah, I tell you, one one person or one pro film that I used to like watching was Charlie Chan, you know, and his number one son, yeah. Um, Charlie Chaplin, um, Laurel and Hardy. Um, there's a lot of war films out there that I love watching, you know. But they're 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 brilliant, you know. I watched what was it The Good, Bad and the Ugly the other night uh, with uh, Clint Eastwood and Lee Van Cleef. What a great film that was. Yeah, and but I think they made three of those all together in a in a row. And then they put them all out. But yeah, <clears throat> I know we're talking about films and everything. This is just making, um, not wasting the time, but just so that we, we can get Sylvana back on onto the screen, as it were. <laughs> you you want to get me back on the screen? Well, you're back on the screen, but yeah. <laughs> Guess what I forgot to do? What did you forgot to do? Uh, forgot to turn the fan on. Oh no! Right, let me put that one on then. You you did that on purpose, didn't you? No, I just realised now. <laughs> hey, you want um, to come back? Hang on, yeah. hang on a sec. Hang on, I'm gonna see if I'll call out my son to come and turn it on. <laughs> um, hang on, let me just. Where am I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Hello, Matebe. <laughs> Hello. 
Okay, he just turned it on for me. <laughs> oh, good. That, your hair's going to go. Yeah, no, no. I could feel that my keyboard was starting to heat up. I forgot because I had my laptop on for a little while. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll just let everyone know what we're doing um, on this slide. Uh, we are doing mini readings for people that we're drawn to. We're selecting people randomly to do the mini readings for. And um, we ask that you've shared the live, please. Uh, we will select from people that have shared the live publicly. If um, you'll see that once you do that, you'll have the sharer badge uh, with the name sharer above your name when you make a comment. And, um, and that's, hi, Tisha. <laughs> Who's your Auntie Mel? <laughs> <laughs> but um, we, um, if you make a donation, that will give you priority and uh, we will then do your reading straight after the one that we would be currently be on. If you would like to come on Zoom to have a mini reading on Zoom with us on the live, you can, um, it only takes a few seconds if you don't already have a Zoom login. Uh, if you want the link, I can post it in the comments for you if you want to quickly set one up. When you come on here, we can see you and have um, like a direct connection with you and uh, you'll be able to interact with us. So yeah. you get more value out of that. But uh, to be eligible for that, you will need to have uh, made a donation and that is in the pinned comments below. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ha her daughter... Um, no, but can you can you see? Why are your daughter? How many daughters you have? Yeah, but can you see while we're singing Family Affair? Yeah, it looks like we've got a whole family here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to let everyone know as well. Um, I just want to get make sure I've got the date correct. So on the eighth <clears> of <throat> May. Okay, eighth of May which around, um, which is a Saturday. So not this Saturday, the next Saturday. We're actually, we're not coming on live. We're going to have like a private, uh, you, you could call it a psychic party on Zoom. And we're inviting six people to come and join us. Um, everyone will get a reading. Like it's not a full on reading because readings go for like an hour at least. Um, it'll be like a mini reading, but um, both Paul and I will be there and uh, there'll only be, apart from yourself, there'll only be five other people. Um, the cost is 50 English pounds. What happens is if you're interested, uh, you message this page and um, we'll send you the information about it with the payment button. And, um, and then secure your place in it. So the first one we're doing is Saturday the 8th of May. And what will happen is one hour before it starts, I will send you the Zoom log login, or sorry, the Zoom link information. Somebody's smoke alarm's going off. It's not mine. Uh, so not mine. that's what we're going to do. So if anybody is interested, uh, you can message this page to secure your spot. Uh, there, we're only having, apart from myself and Paul, there will only be six other people. So it will be a private um, psychic party. Um, it could be a private uh, family affair psychic party. <laughs> but uh, it'll go for about three hours. And, um, yeah, so if anybody's interested... So for, it'll be um, Saturday, the 8th of May. Um, it won't be on Facebook. No one else will see it except for the people that are on the Zoom. Myself and Paul and six other people. Um, so you just message the page if you're interested. And um, we will then um, we'll extend the, the invite to you um, with the details. Yes, Saturday, the 8th of May. Now, it'll be 
7 o'clock, 7 p.m. Melbourne time, which is 7 p.m. I think in most of Australia, except for Western Australia, it'll be 5 p.m. In the UK, it will be 10 a.m. on a Saturday. <laughs> um, if you're not sure of what time it is where you live, let me know and I can, um, you know, if when you show your interest and I'll send you the, a link to, um, it's a Google thing that converts the time. It's like a world time converter. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're quite handy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Regan, it's 50 British pounds. Yes, that's UK. Um, the way you can do a price check, uh, let me see. Um, let me, I've got a tool that I, I actually do it through NAB, NAB um, calculator. That's how I work it out, what it's going to be, calculator. I just use another converter. <laughs> yeah, that, well, I, this is the one I normally use for myself. So yeah. I don't know, everyone might have their own. Yes. Um, yeah, There's I'm looking for foreign exchange. Okay. So I know Regan's in Australia, so this would suit her. Um, now, I just copied the link and I'm trying to find where the live is now. We're here. I'm here. Where are you? Here. Okay. I'm, oh, oh, I, I'm just putting, <laughs> I've put the link there, which um, converts currency. So if you go, it's with NAB. So if you're from another, okay, Regan's put how much it would be in a, in a, in Australian dollars. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, your Auntie Mel was scaring me. <laughs> so, Tisha, I'm from Melbourne in Australia. Are you in New South Wales um, with your auntie? Well, you would be if you live with your mum. <laughs> Uh, I guess, and uh, Paul is from the UK. Yep. I don't it's, it's 50 English pounds, really. Yes. Uh, and the beauty of it is, no, I don't think it'd be that much, Regan. Can't be that. I, I, um, but, um, yes, so... The thing is, it'll be myself and Paul on the 8th of May and six other people, and that's it. And uh, there will be no, no one else, and um, it'll just be us. You'll get readings from, mini readings from both of us, and, um, yeah, it'll, we'll be there for three hours. Uh, so I just... Uh... Oh, you don't live with your mum anymore. Oh, okay, you live with your boyfriend. Okay. Wow. Let's have a look. Is that what it is on that calculator I sent you? I'm just going to have a look here because uh, I've got a, the US dollars up here. Let me just British pounds, British pounds. Okay, 50. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I get $92.92. So I guess it depends on the day. Um, with the rate, but it's round about there anyway. But that that's um, for that amount, you get uh, a psychic medium and an intuitive oracle reader for three hours, um, and there'll only be five apart from yourself, only five other people. So that's a bargain. Yeah, um, it, and you get to know each other as well. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Um, we're going to do it on Zoom, Regan. I think you've come on Zoom anyway before. But um, <laughs> what did Lee say? Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you saying your daughter's old? <laughs> or she's older than your other daughter? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Yeah, you get two readers and you um, you have mini readings from both and um, you're in that, that party scenario for three hours. 
Mm. I mean, everyone, and it's only five other people that hear your mini reading. So, you know, we'll take it all in turns and everything. Yeah. Um, I've just looked at it. It's 89.21. Okay. So it's sort of around there. It's around that price. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So that's good. Yeah. But yeah, just sort of let everyone know. But if you're interested, just message the page, this page, and um, we can send you the details for it. Definitely. But it, 8th of May. Yeah, okay. it, it will be, you know, it'll be, it'll be fun, you know, bring, bring yeah, the yeah. laughter, yeah, you know. I'm looking forward to it, yeah. So it will be fun. And you know what the good thing is? Um, we'll all be able to talk to each other like uh, myself, Paul, and six other people will all be talking to each other and uh, having a laugh and everything. So you know how um, we have a laugh on here. You'll actually be able to interact and, you know, do the same thing. Yes. So it would be really good. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, come up with some good ideas and, you know, get some Thank good you, ideas. Rick, and that's really nice of you to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. Somebody's smoke alarm around here is going off. Oh wow! If you if we start to hear um, you know, a lot of fire engines, we'll know. Hi, Raylene. Raylene, um, you've, I'm not sure. Did you just come on now? Did you get all the info I was saying about the psychic party we're having? She may have missed it. Oh, <coughs> well, we can do that. A bit. Oh, don't worry, Regan. Just for you, I will make a naughty corner. <laughs> <laughs> I will create the naughty corner. <laughs> um, but no, you know, it's it, everyone, it doesn't matter, everyone. Uh, okay, I'll just explain it to you, Raylene. On Saturday, the 8th of May, we I won't be doing a live on Facebook. We're actually going to have a psychic party on Zoom. So it'll be myself, Paul, and six other people. And uh, it's 7 p.m. Melbourne time, which for you, I think, is 5 p.m. Uh, if you're interested, yes, Raylene, we can put you in the naughty corner too, but you're going to have to take turns. I mean, I guess you've <laughs> ordered, you have four people in the naughty corner. But, yeah, so we're asking people if they're interested, it's on the 8th of May, to message this page and... Uh, We'll send you all the details for it. The Zoom logins, uh, the um, links are sent one hour before we start. Um, and that's um, 50 English pounds. So for that, two readers, and it'll go for about three hours. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So anyone that's interested, yeah, we'll have to tag team the corner. I have a feeling Regan's going to be dominating the um, naughty corner for some reason. I have it. Go you, Regan. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, it's it's yeah, it'll be it'll be a good a good day, a good evening. Uh, you know, a good yeah. three hours. Um, yeah. We'll, every, you know, we'll try. And, well, we will. We'll lift the energies as normal. It's Regan, you can't see everyone else's comments because you're already in the naughty corner. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, Raylene? Are you going to knock um, Regan over and, and grab the corner? I think we've got a, a scramble, a competition for the naughty corner. We're going to have all these <laughs> naughty people. <laughs> I'll bring my fly squatter and uh, anyone that's extra naughty gets it. <laughs> Smarty bum. <laughs> Smarty bum. <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, but, uh, yeah, that, that sounds good. Can I come? Uh, I think we'd need a permanent naughty corner for you. No, I mean, can I come you can to... You sit in the naughty corner with um, Regan mm. and Raylene. No, but can I come to this thing on the 8th of May? Am I allowed? <laughs> what do you think? 
<laughs> no, no, we're going to have you in a separate one. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just shout. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. All but right. Um, I guess we, we should start with some readings. Yeah, yeah. We've done the explanation so. thingy. Um, yeah, thank you to all of you that have shared us so far. Thank you. Um, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Raylene said, you better be there, Paul. He will be, Raylene. No, I'm, I'm going out that day. No, he, he, he will. <laughs> Otherwise, he has to uh, withstand my wrath. <laughs> She's a shout and the whole world will shake. Oh, oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> I'll be there. Of course, I'll be there. I don't want to miss your beautiful self. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. I can't wait. It'll be nice to have six other people on there and we can <coughs> talk to each other and stuff. It'll be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It'll be, it will. It'll be, it'll be different. Let's put it that way. It'll be different. Yeah. But it'll be, yeah. Uh, uh, you know what I haven't done yet? I haven't actually said good morning to, or good evening to Raylene. I hope you're well, because I'll, I'll, you know, I'll let you do, do your bit, you know, doing explaining our, our new venture. So thank you uh, for joining us, Raylene. And who else? Who, who else did I miss? Because I'm sure I saw someone else come on. Uh, Tisha? You've probably missed a few people. Yeah. Oh, well. They're there. So thank you. <laughs> thank you to you all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Re Regan. Regan, I'll call her. Regan. Mrs. Oh. I'll call her Mrs. King. Yeah, you didn't say hi to her either. You were just a snob. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Regan. He's a snob. He's just, it's just, you can't help it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the way he is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello, Mel, everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Good morning. Good oh, evening. You're good gonna afternoon. You're going to pick someone for us to do a reading, aren't you? Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon, wherever you are. And if you're going to bed, good night. Um. We're going to go to bed at this rate, if you don't hurry up. <laughs> what? what? What do you want? What do you want? You need to pick someone for us oh, to do a mini oh, reading. But you, didn't, you didn't say that. Yes, I did. I said it to you several times. <laughs> oh, I'm going deaf. I must you be. wash your ears. Oh, my goodness. I am really going deaf. I must be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, well. Okay. Boom. Whom shall we choose? Human. Right, let's have a look. I would go for someone like everybody. Tap the table. This is a drum roll moment. No, um, who am I drawn to? Let's have a look. Well, all half of the things are gone, so they've gone walkabout. What about? What about? <laughs> what about mm, mm, Mel? Mel, mm, yes, Mel. okay. I was hoping you'd say Mel because I felt drawn to Mel. So did I. That's why I was drawn to her. Yes. 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 And she went away and then came back. Yeah. She knew. She knew she was going to get a reading. Definitely. Are you up for that? Mel? Are you are you happy to, to have a mini reading, Mel? Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Wow. Do you know? <laughs> yeah. Pest is back. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my word. So you're doing the cards now, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you been practicing doing your cards? As in shuffling them. What do you mean? Shuffling them. Shuffling the cards? No. Yeah, it looks like you've been practicing. No, it. I mean, after I've done heaps of readings, so after a, a certain time, um, right. you um, you just get used to it. Yeah. What well, What I'll do, I'll leave you to it. Hi, Phyllis. Hello. Hello. Phyllis. <laughs> Um, hang on. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Hello, Phyllis. Um, God, blimey. We've got... <laughs> Look at that. Everybody. Everybody's... <laughs> everybody's knows that we're giving a reading <laughs> to Mel. It's the whole <laughs> family knows. It's like they're all... Phyllis is here. <laughs> hey, Phyllis. Mm. Hope you're well. Um, you know. Candice, are you here? It, Tisha is calling Candice to come on there. <laughs> Look at that. Everybody's having fun. So, right. I'm, I'm going to quickly explain to this, uh, explain this. But if 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 you don't already know. Um, if you would like a mini reading, please share our live publicly to other groups or publicly to your own page. You will receive a mini reading. If you have shared our live publicly and we are drawn to you. Thank you. And a donation will give you priority. But if we're halfway through a reading, we can't stop that reading to give you yours. You'll have to wait until the end. <laughs> that was reading <laughs> but thank you um to share our live simply click on the share button and select to either share with your friends publicly or your own page or go to more options and share to a group <sighs> thank you and as you can see, we're on Zoom. And um, if you've been here before and you're part of our little family, um, if you have a Zoom login and would like to come on the Zoom for a mini, mini reading, please send a message to this page on Messenger and let us know that you have a Zoom login and that you would like a mini reading. To be eligible for this, you would need to have made a donation. The donation button is pinned in the comment below. Thank you. And we love you all. We love you all coming on here. Thank you. <clears throat> it will be exciting when we get to you. Yep. Oh, fingers crossed a few. <laughs> yes and you know it's nice that we get all these wonderful people that share share us out there because you know the bigger the family the better the energy but even with a small family you get a great energy anyway you know yeah. um no matter what you know are, are we uh there yet just about okay okay um yes all right I mean, pardon me where are we <laughs> right <sighs> yes but also are you ready because I, I, I don't want to start on something um you can yeah do it I'm just, uh, okay. I'm just focusing no, on what I'm I've noticed that Rita's on as well. Nice to see you, Rita. Hope, hope you're oh, well. Hello, Rita. Hope you're. Hi, Shania. I hope you're fantastic as usual. Yes, yeah, uh, super beautiful. Yeah, and Shania, yes. 
And uh, yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna read this bit out. If you would like a private reading with either me or Silvana, please message this page and let us know who you would like to have the reading with. We will then send you the details of the re how the readings work and schedule an appointment with you. You will find the links to both our pages pasted in the comments. Thank you. Yes. All right, Mel. Okay. okay, I've pulled out some interesting things. <laughs> I just needed a moment to put it, piece it all together. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, I've pulled out um, surrendering to the journey. And, you know, this signifies to me that you like to be in control um, of, of everything, you know, your situation, whatever's happening. You know, things can't go wrong if you're in control. You need to have your finger. Um, you need to be, um, think out the processes, think, plan things out. Um, you know, just having control, it, it just, you know, you feel like things will run sm more smoothly if you have control um, and you do the things. Now, um, I need to tell you to release, release that control. You know, whatever happens, happens. You know, if something is meant to go wrong, it will go wrong. Um, there's no point to stress about it. And, and fight for the control um, to be able to uh, lead it to the desired outcome that you want. Um, you know, by, by releasing control of it, you know, take a step back. You will be guided. You'll actually, the light will be in front of you and you'll actually see things more clearly because sometimes things are supposed to happen the way they do for certain reasons. Um, I feel that, um, you know, that what I'm getting is like, I do this myself sometimes and I, I try and stop myself, but I, you know, analysing things a lot, um, thinking about things, analysing it, maybe even almost to the point of obsessing about something, um, about people themselves or a situation, um, running things over in your mind. Now, you need to turn these sort of feelings over to your angels, to spirit, because, you know, it will, they will look after it for you. Um, you know, you'll find that by doing that, you will, it will give you clarity to solve the problem because when we're in this situation in our mind, we can't see clearly. Um, so I feel that this is something that you go through. But um, I've pulled, this is really interesting what I've pulled out. I've pulled out the spiritual understanding. And Mel, I feel that you're actually, you have a gift. You have a spiritual gift. Um, and you're actually, and I feel that you are already you're getting messages, but perhaps in the form of symbols. Sometimes messages that we receive from spirit aren't as clear as day. They're not black and white. Um, they're almost, almost sometimes they're almost like a riddle, or you'll you'll be faced with something, but that something um, would have a certain meaning, maybe a song or symbols. You've seen a symbol somewhere, and you know it's like deciphering it. And I feel that. Um, you're actually going to get help from spirit to understand the the information that they've been giving you. Um, you're, you've also, um, if you haven't already, you're going to be given an idea by spirit. You're going to, which is an answer to your prayers. There's something that you've been praying for and um, the idea to help you do this is going to come to you. Um, and you'll find that it'll just pop in your head and you'll think, oh, yes, yes, that would work, you know. Now, when this happens, 
trust it because it, it is safe to actually follow this through. Um, you'll have guidance from spirit and the angels with you every step of the way for this. Um, and you're also, once this happens, it'll just be, you'll be just getting started. You know, things are just going to start happening for you. Things will just start working out. This, but you need to surrender that control and stop analysing things. Um, stop stressing about people or situations. Let go of that. You need to let go of that. And once you do that, you open yourself up to everything else here. Um, so, but also, um, I feel that um, you, I need to tell you to do um, to do things for yourself, like um, you know. Your purpose is like to satisfy yourself. So when you do this, don't do it to make other people happy. Don't do it in a way to make other people happy. You have to make yourself happy. So do it for yourself. So I hope that this helps you, Mel, um, and that it resonates. I'd love to see, like, if it resonates. But um, Paul's going to see what um, he can get for you. Hmm. Okay. Right, I'll just be looking outside, looking at the pigeons. <laughs> Your friends. <laughs> no, they're all right. They're, yeah, we all belong somewhere. Okay, right. Hello, Mel. Let's see what we can get for you, and, you know, so that uh, the rest of the family can listen. Well, the rest of the family listen in as well. <laughs> All right, let's tune in, Tim, and see what we can get for you. Okay. All right. Radio. <laughs> wow. Okay. Right. The first, the first thing that I'm getting with yourself is, it, it just seems to be, very, you know, <laughs> it just feels like you I don't know if this is going to sound similar to what Savannah was saying uh, it feels like you're going through a change okay and that change is now um, something you've never thought of never heard of never experienced before it's like the energies are getting better higher and you're gonna notice these very quickly um, but don't get worried you know just say right i can't i can't handle this one at the moment just you know can we do it another day you know don't, but don't leave it too long because you need to to move yourself on okay you will you will get to understand uh, all these new um all these new energies and all these new um things are going to happen for you okay uh, you're going to have a lot of people and a lot of, um, it feels like a lot of spirit that are going to be very, very, very close to you because they want you to do well. They want you to do really well and want you to be something that you've wanted to become for many years. You know, it's like you want to be, the wording I get is like matriarch. Okay. It's like you want to be, you want to be above. Um, you know, you want to be above the the normal placing of where you are. Okay, you you want to make sure that your <laughs> your eyes, your yeah yeah your eyes, your ears, and everything are focused on everything around you. It just feels like this. That there are people out there that are moving closer to you, but there are some that you need to keep at a distance, okay? There are some that you do need to keep at a distance because those people will, will either try and put you down or they will just say, you know, um, they'll just try and they'll say things that you don't want to hear. Okay, but if you feel it's the right time to move forward, yeah, 
then go for it. Because sometimes we, we move forward too quick. You've got to do the challenges in between, okay? You've got to make sure that these challenges are, are met, okay? Uh, but these challenges will lift you, like I've said. They'll open you up to more gifts, more senses, more of the spirit world, and more of the, um, just, you know, people will reckon, well, they'll notice it. If you walk down, um, uh, you go for a walk somewhere and you walk past somebody and they're having a bad day, they will notice. They will notice your your uh, energy. Okay. But I, I still believe that, well, I, I believe that it's something that you're meant to do and you're meant to do from a small child, okay? Um, this gift that I keep talking about is going to help you for the rest of your life, but you've got to make sure that you don't disrespect the gift, okay? I don't know why that word comes out, but don't disrespect it because it, if you disrespect it, it will come back and bite you on the bomb, basically, okay? You've got to go with it and let it flow, okay? You're no better, or, you know, uh, when spirit help you through these gifts or with these gifts, that it's because they feel that you're the right person. But if you feel that you're better than them, then you'll be pulled back very quickly and you'll be basically put in into a corner and you'll be left until you can understand the way you're working is not right you know you you can't go beyond your you beyond you you can't go beyond the spirit okay but you've got to learn and everything then will change okay then everything will start to change I, I, I do see that you, you want to do, um, it just feels like just readings, okay? It just feels like you want to do readings for people. You want to you have a room or a, a place that you want to, it's like you want to set a little, little business up. If this hasn't already started, it's something that's very close now. And it's like the paperwork needs, just some little formalities need signing or, or doing so that you can do these things. OK, but you hope that this will come to for it. Yeah, you hope that this will come in very quickly. And this is what I mean about not getting ahead of yourself. You now need to just pull it back just a tad. OK, and it will still move forward. It will still move forward, but you just need to pull it back just a tad, just so that you don't go too fast. You've got to learn. OK. But the money side, that'll come in, you know, everybody asks for the money, okay? But if, you, if you're, I do believe people will pay that, that money that you're requesting and, and everything will be fine in that respect. But you still have to have a, what do you call it? A, a, a good balance. It's like a good balance. But uh, yeah. It feels like, again, everything that you're doing and everything that you want to do is in your hands, okay? So don't disrespect, don't go above yourself and let your, just let it flow. Just let everything flow and just enjoy, you know, just enjoy because there's a lot to come, but you've got to make sure that you don't, um, let yourself down either and all those wonderful people that are uh looking forward to your abilities your energies your because you know people want people want to meet people like us because they they like that energy okay but i'm gonna leave that one with you and uh uh yeah thank you uh mel for letting us read you myself and Silvana and yeah yeah, yeah. Mel, I'd love to we haven't really heard from her 
I hope she heard it. I'd just love to know if that resonated with her. Yeah, we need to know if it resonated. <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> yes, please. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're most welcome, Mel. How was that, what we said? Did it resonate or no? Or... It's okay if you don't need to say, if you don't want to say. Some people like a, like their personal, so that's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Will she teach her? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, no, I actually enjoyed that one. That was quite. That was quite. Um, oh, Mel said yes. It was all true. I uh, and teacher as well. I was wondering because she didn't comment, and I was thinking, oh, but it really felt. It really flowed. Even what I was saying, it really. I could see it and feel it, and then I thought, oh, I hope I hadn't offended her either. <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah, no, but it was quite good. It was quite good. And thank you for the, the comment. Oh, she's thinking about it. I hope you're not, what I, what I did, overanalyzing it. <laughs> I think I mentioned not to overanalyze and um, <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Um, but no, that's good. That's good, um, Mel. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Um, now, uh, Lee, um, is that for yourself? We just we received it. Is the, your donation? Is it for yourself? Um, oh, is it t-shirt? Yeah, that makes sense with the cards I pulled out too, with the symbols and everything, and the uh, getting messages. Oh my goodness, it's for t-shirt. Okay, so um, oh, okay, t-shirt. This is for your your mum's. Um, would like you to have a reading. Would you like to come on Zoom? Oh, I mean, we need your permission to give you the reading too, because I, I wouldn't want to give you a reading if you don't want one. <laughs> you have a, you've got a lovely mum, see? She donated for you to have a reading, and you can even come on Zoom. Yeah, come on Zoom, Tisha. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right, um, have you got a Zoom login? If you, yeah, I'll wait and see if she's got, otherwise I'll send you the, okay, give me two minutes, she said. All right, we'll, we'll have a chat. Yeah, I, I, I believe it does, um, you do have um, spirits there, Mel. Be, and, um, no job. Do, you, do you feel, have you been, um, do you feel you've been getting messages because they've been trying to do that, but they're actually going to help you to understand the messages that they're giving you. Maybe you may have been a bit confused, perhaps. Okay, she does have Zoom. All right, Tisha, when you're ready. Yeah, you're going to have a big change. Yep, yep. Oh, my God, you have to come on the psychic party. I want to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Tisha, when you're ready, send a message to this page, the Psychic Touch, so that I can send you the link to join. Because Facebook won't let me just send you a message if you've never sent me a message before. So I'll wait for you to send me a message and I'll send you the invite. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But, yeah. And thank you. Um, yeah, to Tisha's, Tisha's mum. 
<laughs> Thank you. That's Lee. Tisha is uh, Shania's sister. Oh, God, I'm getting confused. I'm <laughs> not. They're all there. <laughs> I'm not confused. You, you've got early onset, so if you would get confused. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Lee said that Mel won't stop talking. Lee, Mel is your sister, is that right? Uh, you are still there. It's my uh, my Facebook's frozen again. Ah, uh, didn't they believe you, Mel? Wow. There you go. Yes, my Facebook frozen again. Yes, I can see Shania, and that's the best way to. Be <gasps> Lee, Mel, did you see what Lee just wrote? <laughs> Hello, my Facebook's frozen again. They always call the older one the crazier one. If is if it's frozen, Paul, go out of it and see if you can come back in. Mm hmm Yeah, it's all right. It'll, it'll, it'll clear itself. It'll clear itself. They'll believe you, Mel, because we said it now too. So we're, we've validated what you've said. Yes. So they'll believe you now. <laughs> No, um, yeah, you know, the comments from Mel are very, very good. Thank you. Very, very good. <laughs> Does Angelique know that, um, is she aware of your, um, <laughs> of Mel? You're most welcome, Mel. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We've got, now, is Angelique a family member as well? <laughs> <laughs> I have to know. <laughs> My goodness. I told you. That, that's why I was singing that song earlier. It's a family yes. affair. So Angelique is a family member to... Oh, she's a family friend. Okay. But you know what? Family friends are family members anyway. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. Yeah, well, she knows things before. I bet you're close enough, Angelique, to be family. Hmm? Yeah, Mel, Mel gets it. Mel is very intuitive. Yes, yeah, I get, I got that as well. Yeah, from what she's, what she's written. <laughs> yeah. So, are we all ready for? Uh... I, I'm just waiting for Tisha. I think she's just getting ready, and she's going to. Okay. She's just, okay. Yeah. <coughs> uh, okay. She's your sister from another mother. So, or another, <laughs> is it another mother or another mister? <laughs> I don't know. Did I say that right? <laughs> um, yeah, hairdresser. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, father. No, but it's strange, isn't it? That uh, you need me now. Okay. Yeah. All right. No. Uh, and hello, Here Ange. We go. Yeah, I got your message. All yeah. right. So hello. I'm just going to send you the link now. Okay. Hello, Ange. Hope you're well. Oh, hi, Ange. I didn't see Ange on there. No. Hope you're well. Um. And I'm sure I'll see Teresa one day, and yourself. I don't know if it'll be today. I've got a lot to do. <laughs> yeah, talking to me. <laughs> no, I've got, I've got a few things I've got to sort out. Yeah, we, you know, guys, we talk for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> What's our record? Was it six hours or six and a half hours? I can't remember oh, now. I think it was more close to seven or eight. Yeah. And you know what? We talk twice a day for hours and we just don't get sick of each other. I'm surprised. I really am. <laughs> no. No. Um, yeah. Oh, Cheryl. I had Cheryl come on before, but if she, if she hasn't. Hello, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Hello, Joss. Hi, Joss. How are you? How is everyone? We've got a few newcomers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like to have a laugh here, Joss. Definitely. You know, we, we want yeah. we want to lift everybody's energy. 
if we, you know, um, oh, you know. Yeah, now, um, and I think that's what I've got through for you as well, um, that they're going to help you understand the messages you've been getting. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, Angelique. Is that? Angelique. I love that name. Angelique. Mm. <laughs> no wonder Mel resonated with you. Oh, Ange said, hi, Paul, you look good. That's just normal. I'm here too. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. Let me get that bag. I'll just put the bag over my head. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, but jo uh, Joss, what we're doing is um, we're doing mini readings for people. Um, we're selecting randomly uh, people that we're drawn to, uh, but we do ask that you've shared our live. Uh, if you make a donation with the, the details that are in the pinned comment, you're given priority. We, um, we've got someone that's made a donation and they're about to come on Zoom. So we also do Zoom readings, uh, mini readings. So you're about to see them. They're about to come on now. And, um, and I, I am an intuitive oracle reader and Paul is a psychic medium. So Tisha, uh, Tisha should be coming. I, I can't see her yet. But uh, no, um, um, and if you could, uh, please uh, share share our life, share the life to um, your oh, own page. said Zoom is just updating. No probs. Okay. Okay. Very special. <laughs> Hello, Nicola. Um, we're about to do a reading now. Um, the lady's just coming on, about to come on Zoom. Hello, hello, Nicola. Uh, hi, Nicola. But um, after we finish this reading, um, we will be selecting people randomly, but you need to have shared the live, please. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Are you... Are you wow. Well, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it, um, if you'd like, if you haven't been on here before thank you for coming on and uh you know supporting us on our little show and you know um if you would like a mini reading please share our live publicly to other groups or publicly to your own page uh you will receive a mini reading if you have shared our live publicly um, and we are drawn to you Hi. Hey, Paul didn't see you. He was too busy reading. <laughs> Look at a dog, Paul. Sorry, oh, he just got out of surgery. Sorry. Oh, it's right. oh it's gorgeous. I Boy, picked him up her. last night. He spent the past week away from his mom. He had blood of stones, so he's just in a little bit of pain. We've had no sleep, but he's oh. all right. So hello. Oh, so we had a cone, so we had to. I went and changed his cone to make him a bit more comfortable. So hopefully we have a better night's sleep tonight. Hey, mm, Diesel. Yeah. What's his Come name? Diesel. He's three. Diesel. 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 Uh -huh. That's not Whoa. often. You didn't exactly. use. You didn't use his name from Van Diesel, did you? Or Van Diesel? No, it's because I had a diesel car, and it was the only name that comes to my mind. So I was like, you know what? I'll just call him Diesel. <laughs> Oh wow. That's quite good. That's quite good. You know, but how have you been anyway? Been good? Yeah, good. Just exhausted. Just come off seven days straight work and picked up my dog last night. So it's been a bit of a stressful week. I'm a manager at a hair salon. So trying to work and trying to do with my dog. And yeah, it's just been a great seven days. Good. Yeah. Good. So is your name Tanisha or T um Tisha? Tanisha. Tanisha, okay, I wasn't yeah. sure. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you the same question I ask everybody else. What do you think of how we how we do the show? Well, so far, pretty good. Um, oh, is this your first time on here? Yeah, I've seen my sister did one the other day. I watched last night. Okay. 
yeah so I have like I bop in and bop out but you know I get home so late so it's a bit hard for me to keep a track yeah, you ought to play it at the hairdressers yeah <laughs> <laughs> and go and everybody will be going Ooh, what's that <laughs> put it on the big screen in the corner yeah but but uh, no, it's, it's weird that everybody is on, on from a family today. Yeah. Well, I wasn't kind of expecting to go live. I was kind of in my pajamas, ready for bed. And then I see Tish and I'm like, are you kidding me, mom? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we, we've actually had people come on in their PJs before. Oh, Lord. No, I couldn't do that. I'd probably scare the whole town. <laughs> no, no. You know, there's, there's only a few million people watching. Ah, uh, thanks. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that's that's just to liven you, you know, just to make you go, oh no, no. Nah, it's all right. I'm not scared of anything. It's all good. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's normally, you know, just the people that are on here, and then when we've shared the video out, that's all. So you might get thirty thousand people watching you. So, oh, lovely! <laughs> yeah, but look at look at what we do. You know, we we have to tell everybody what well, not tell everybody, but we have to do like our mini readings for yourself. And we're going, oh, are we going to get it right? Are we going to get it right? But yeah, you know, you know, we we do our best for you. We'll, we'll do our best for you today. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. So, has it been cold down there? What, what part of Australia um, from? I'm in Sydney, so I'm near like Mars and Park, so Western Sydney. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so it's been pretty cold. I've actually had the gas heater on the past few days, but I'm a sook. I'm always cold, so okay. I still wear a scarf and jumper in summer, so it makes no difference for me. <laughs> so what's, what's the temperature to make it feel really cold for you? Probably like, I don't know, 15 degrees. I'm only a bit cold. <laughs> I, I love laughing at things like that because um, it's 12 degrees here, right? Wow. Well, see, I would be in like my Eskimo suit. I'd be freezing. Yeah. <laughs> but I've, 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 done, I've actually done shows where it's been minus. Wow. Well. Where, where it's been, and Savannah will tell you, you actually see the, the, when I'm breathing, you can see all the... You see yeah. the fog coming out of his mouth, the mist. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. That's every morning me hopping in my car going to work. I hate that. Yeah, but you, you don't get the ice on the on the car, do you? Yeah, we No, do. not at the moment. Not no. at the moment I haven't, but yeah. normally we do. About midwinter we usually do. No, no. But, but it's I mean... okay. I've got automatic frosters, so it's fine in heated seats. So I love yeah. it. But but not when it's only 15, 15 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> we we had 15 degrees here uh, the other day, and people were walking around in shorts. Wow. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Yeah, but um, you know, we're supposed to be having rain today. Supposed oh wow. To. Okay. Yeah, but I'm trying not to ask you questions all about everything. I'm I'm generalizing about other things because <laughs> we don't <laughs> want to know what you what what you you know, about your life <laughs> too much. Yeah. So, so I'm talking about skiing and the weather and, you know, cakes and things. Yeah. Because um, if, you know, I'm sure other family members will tell you that when sometimes we talk about, you know, what's your favourite cake? What's your, your favourite, you know, um, you know do, you, do you eat chocolate and things like that? And, and then everybody will just say that the name of their favourite cake. <laughs> like, <laughs> cheesecakes and and everything but uh, yeah. no, it is it's, it's uh you know you know because i could start a reading but i'm not going to <laughs> it's not fair <laughs> but uh yeah so you, you say your doggy diesel is three years old yeah he's three yeah he's having Did a good old chill over there oh wow he oh, had a what? big surgery, so he's in a bit of pain. I'm still trying to cope with it, but he'll be all right. It'll be fine. Yeah, you know, you know, no, I could say something, but I'm not going to. 
You're no. being rude, Paul. No, no, nothing rude. <laughs> nothing rude. Nothing rude at all. No, it is, you know, I'm, you know, it's just strange. He's got a rubber ring around his neck. Yeah, oh. I know. Tell me, he's beat my whole house up. I've had to rearrange my whole house. He <laughs> made my coffee table go flying last night because of the cone and, oh. It's been a nightmare. Is that the one where, because there's a, a there's a comedian that I know of. Um, he made a joke about these dogs that have cones on. And, and, and if they're a small dog, you can turn them upside down and they can get calf space. <laughs> Just stick them. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. I could, I could tell you the rest of the joke, but it's really rude. <laughs> I told you, I knew you were starting to be rude, Paul. <laughs> no, but this isn't oh, my sorry. joke. This isn't my joke. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Can't okay. take you anywhere. Are, oh. are, you, are you ready there? <laughs> yes, I am. I was just getting, I pulled out a few things that I wasn't sure about, but I, I just, um, I, I feel like I have clarification now. Mm -hmm. um, but before we start, don't yes. say anything until I've finished my bit, please. Because I'll be going like this else all the way through. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, it, it's just easier, and I, we both of us just don't like to know anything about anything until we actually do the reading. And it makes more yeah. sense. And it, it just, you know, um, yeah, just just have fun, just listen, and then see see what we. Yeah. Okay. All right, Tanisha, what I've got for you um, is a transformation card. Um, normally, um, you, I feel that from this is you're going through an internal transformation, um, your feelings, um, you're having mixed feelings about something and um, the transformation is you're having, it's like you're seeing a light of something more that you can be um i've got here that like you take a lot of joy um everything in um you ha like having um energy around you that brings you joy um <laughs> it's something that um you know you know that this thing that um that you're perhaps toying with um is something that will give you joy but I need to tell you to um, take a risk. Take a risk and put, it's like something you're desiring in your heart um, and you're kind of not, you're waiting. You haven't quite put it in action yet. Um, it's like perhaps maybe something you've done before and it, it may not have worked out and you're still stinging from it. You're still healing from it. Um, I feel that it's something that um, you've really analysed, you've really thought about it a lot, um, like it's a, d a dilemma to you, like you turn it over and over and over and over. But I need to tell you to stop procrast procrastinating. Um, it, it's actually um, the time now to jump and um, like go on that goal, um, go on this journey to achieve this goal and stop putting it off. You'll find that by taking action, you'll actually attract success um, because I've also pulled out the miracle card. And this means like when, you know, you, you may think, oh, it's not gonna work, but, um, you know, things that you may feel that are impossible that will happen, uh, that for it to happen will actually happen. It's just um, your mindset um, in putting it in action and opening yourself up to making it work and starting to take the actions for the steps um, to make this happen. But I feel perhaps maybe you have a little bit of low self-esteem. Um, don't be afraid to shine. Don't be afraid to, um, say, be above others or shine above others. Don't be afraid for other people to hear you or see you uh, because um, they will when you go through this. And so I think maybe something like that is holding you back. Um, that's all I, I can actually really get for you. Um, it just feels like you've got something that 
you really want to manifest. Um, it's kind of like you've seen the light on something, but yeah, you need to take a leap of faith to, um, you know, to put it in action and hold, waiting and waiting um, before you action anything is not going to make anything happen. You now is actually the time to actually jump on it and start. And yet, yeah, and you'll find that um, once you do that, it'll you'll wonder why you've waited so long. Um, I hope that that helps you. Paul's going to see now what he can get for you, and then you can let us know after that. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, <clears throat> did you say it's Tanisha, isn't it? I clicked. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I, I just you have to. It <laughs> I know I'm reading it. I'm just. Oh, I need. I definitely need glasses. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> That's right. It's an unusual one. You can thank my mum for that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of the names. Yeah, dyslexia. How do you know? Oh, I don't know. But let's see what we can get with you. Uh, um, let's tune into. If I'm not looking at the screen, it's because I don't want to see your expression because <laughs> it because it gives it away. I do apologise. Um, okay, okay, right. Yeah, well, wow. Hmm. There's a. <laughs> It's like someone wants to come through here. <laughs> you, you, you need to start to realise that the person you are is something special, okay? You need to realise that the person you're, that you are is somebody that you've been looking for for a very long time, okay? And that you need to understand that that person has always been inside you and that person will will slowly come out more the more you open yourself up to the world okay the world will appreciate one day what you do okay this isn't something that you're more open to at the moment but someday the world will understand you okay okay but you will start to notice small changes small changes okay you will those things that have basically held you back will now start to start to help you move your life into a different direction and that different direction will make your not just you your family around you uh, will will start to notice more as well okay you you can't see it at the moment but you will start like i say you'll start to notice it more and more and more they're just little chinks of light at the moment and those chinks of light will become flashes of light and then it'll just slowly turn into it's like someone turning the light switch on and boom, the light will be around you because it feels like the angels are there for you and they are going to guide you to something so special, okay? And you, will, you, you won't believe what will happen, okay? But you've got to make sure that you take it and you... Uh, go with it in such a good way that people like I say the people around you will notice but it that there are things around you that you love okay and it's not just special people it's not special persons okay there are things inside you that, that you just yeah, it's just things that you love to do. It's things that you love to do, okay? And you love that um, interaction with people. That interaction with people has uh, been noticed, okay? This is something that, this is 
like I said, this is where this where it starts. The interaction, the talking, uh, the the just making people smile. Okay, and just it, it's a given that you've been chosen to do these wonderful things. Okay, that. There are also going to be some, it feels like you're being helped by a wonderful, it feels like there's someone who's passed, but you that was very, very close to you. Okay, but you didn't know them as an adult. You knew them more as a child. Okay, these people are close to you and they're going to help you also. They're going to grab, take your hand and they're going to guide you to the direction that you're supposed to be going. But you've also got to look out for these people because they're, they're, it feels like they're, they've been around you for a very long time. And they're, they're there and that they do, they do give you your space because they want to see you progress. But they also, when, when you're ready to go, they'll be there big time. But this person, seems to sit on the end of your bed as well. I was always with you uh, with, um, at bedtime and gives you some wonderful energy. It's like they're, they're training you, but you're, you don't realize that you're being trained for something amazing, okay? Th th what I'm saying is, is most probably going right over your head and you're going, no, no, no. But what you're gonna be doing is gonna be amazing for a lot of people, like I said. Okay, but the spirit world are going to just, they're going to immerse you. Okay, you're going to be, right, and I don't get this for a lot of people. Okay. If I'm shown a room full of feathers, that just means you're going to be really up there somewhere. Okay. Okay, that just means that you're going to be I something... And I'm not keep repeating it because it's got to stick. It's got to stick in your head, you know. You know, you're going to be amazing, but you've got to relax. You've got to make sure that you don't sit back too much. If these things start to happen, start to make sure that you take it forward, okay? But sometimes you do need to sit back. I know it's like contradicting itself, but don't worry. It's your life. Right, take it where you want to take it. If you don't want that, uh, just just keep going as you are. But if you want to take your life somewhere that's up here instead of down here, then you need to start to notice the the things that are around you. They'll they'll be like I said, small things, right? And your life is there. They'll be. I do believe that there'll be some extra money comes out of this or there'll be some extra funding to pay for um, like bills and stuff like that. But that will be because they're showing you things that you, how, you know, that uh, showing you the way you could be. Okay. But what you've got to also remember when, when you're doing your hairdressing or whatever, there's spirit in there too. It's like you've been, it's just like you were drawn to that, that moment, okay? That, that's to get you through and teach you. Because the, what you don't realise, a lot of the people, a lot of these clients that are coming in, they're earth angels. They're people that have been there training you to help you, to guide you into a, into a position of um, not just amazement, but wonderfulness, okay? But it feels like other people in your family as well have the same gift, but some of them don't put it out there. But when you're around them, you most probably notice these things too. OK, but also you've just got to remember, don't give up because what you're um, 
gonna experience is just gonna, like I say, change your life. And there will there will be some big challenges come up. And from this, I do believe that you'll you'll just I see smiles again. It feels like it feels like you just you just need it. You just need the smiles back. It's like you're gone, and you just need that. Wait, you know, you want. It feels like you want to throw custard pies in people's faces. You want to be back at that situation. In the past, you were most probably like that, but because of work and things like that, you just needed to get yourself into a situation. You needed to get your uh, your materialistic things. Okay. But those materialistic things were placed there for you already. It doesn't matter how much hard, how hard you work, those things, the same things will come to you. <laughs> no matter what, however, how it comes out, however hard you work, you'll you'll just still get the same things. But look forward to this, please, because you're going to be amazing. Right? And you know, even even looking at you now, you've got some fantastic auras around you, you know, and just just keep going, please. And as I say, and a lot of people don't realise this, you get what you need, not what you want. Okay? If you want it, that is. You've got to put the work, you've got to put the work in and notice as well. So I'm going to leave that one with you. I hope that resonated with yourself. And thank you for letting us read you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Oh, now, she, now it's your turn. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I, I sort of had a smile because I, I saw your face freak out when you said there's someone that sits on the end of your bed. Yeah. <laughs> your, your, your face went, whoa. <laughs> I think I went, what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah those, those people are just there to you know to help could you. you say would it be like a family member a friend like no this is this is definitely serious this, this is a family member because mm. mm. like the only person that's passed away in my younger life was my pop mm. and yeah. i would have been like God, maybe eight, nine. Okay, it's someone like that you knew. It's someone you knew. A while yeah, ago. and I was pretty close with him. Mm. 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 But then... yeah, I'm kind of stuck on your one. I don't know. There's a few things, I guess, but I think for maybe Sylvania's one could have been like my business when I had my hair salon back in 2016. Yeah. Okay. okay. But yeah, as as I said to a lot. Did something go wrong? Did something go wrong? Because I felt like you were healing from something that didn't work out, and but um, you've been thinking. I've still got all your cards out um, because that that's what I was getting. Something that had happened that perhaps was stopping you now from moving forward, and um, you've been thinking about it. But I, I had to tell you not to stop thinking about it. Actually, do something because um, it will work out for you. Um, and don't be afraid to shine, you know. Um, mm. Don't be afraid to be better than other people. Uh, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what I was getting here. Mm. Yeah. I think it was just more like I was 20, turned 21. Mum and Dad brought me a business. It was a risk and it's not a risk that I regret. Um, it was definitely a learning curve, but hey, it taught me who I am today. Mm -hmm. um, I guess a lot of it was my staff that had let me down. I did work my backside off. My days off were never a day off. I tried my best of my ability to get to where I am. Been hairdressing now 11 years, um, but unfortunately, rent was just way too high. Then, when we took over the business, the our old owners ended up opening up a salon up the road. So, they took majority of my business. Then, 11 weeks into it, I won best hairdresser for the local area. So, I received See? a trophy. Oh, yeah, my so, 
that yeah. was a big upper. So that was great. Like my first 13 weeks, I got a trophy, which was absolutely fantastic, which I can show you. Yeah. That was a really good life achievement for me. Um, and I've still kept it. I just don't present it anywhere. I just put it away because I don't want to wreck it. But that's my trophy. Oh, wow. So it nice. says Bella Beautiful Hair Salon, Outstanding Hairdresser for 2016. Wow. So that is something I've always, thank you. That's always something that has always been a part of me, I guess. Um, letting go of the salon at the time, it was kind of like, yep, I'm over, I'm done. But then there's days where recently I'm like, you know what, if I would have done things differently, maybe I'd be still there today. But I don't beat myself down over it. It's just different circumstances. But then there's another willing of me going, you know, do maybe in the future when I build a house, like, do I try it again? I don't know. Yeah, that's why procrastination, what I was telling you before, that's the card that I got. Um, Because what I'm getting here is um, to take, like I said, the leap of faith before, because what you're going to do now, you've learned from it. you, you actually it's going to work out for you miracles and here I've got this this is the other one I've got um don't be afraid to sing that's like mm. don't it's almost like don't hide yourself away so um you you're very talented and obviously by that award that you've got there so you know you don't um I I, I don't think that um I think you're even taking a risk you're, you're, you've learnt from your past, you've learnt from your experience. So, you know. Yeah, and I think being so young too, like, it's a big advantage. You don't see girls at 21 starting a hairdressing business. So <laughs> that that was hard when I first started. Like, obviously, I was the talk of the word of the world. But, you know, it gave me a challenge, it gave me a strength, and I got there in the end. But, like I said, now where I'm at, I'm experienced enough now to manage a team of 12. So now I manage 12 girls. So I've got that strength and ability to be able to do that. Mm. Um, So I guess, you know, having the salon was a bonus. It's a loss, but, you know, I am who I am and I've got that. I'm outspoken. I'm, you know, I'm not a nervous girl. And if you ask all my family, I never shut up. So, you know, I'm, ha- I'm definitely a hairdresser. Um, you know, same as Mel, me and Annie Mel, we're, you yeah. know, we're very close. Um, we work identical. And I know Annie Mel, you can hear me and you know it yourself. <laughs> but, you know, like at the end of the day, I think that's where your reading was pointing across. You know, that was yeah. a challenge that maybe I need to take upon again and get take a risk. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, what I it seems to put. Now that you've told me all that, um, it just makes sense with what I've pulled out. Um, mm. And and basically, what I was saying, um, I don't know <laughs> because did any did any of it resonate with yourself at the moment? Mm, because a little bit, a little bit. Like I think the only thing I'm feeling is like my it could be my pop. But no, yeah, I, 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 I reckon the, the person that came through was a lady because she actually she actually did the reading. She actually spoke mm-hmm. through me. Yeah, I could tell he was actually um, he was actually uh, yeah, he was channeling because I can tell when his voice changes like that that he's doing that. Mm. Mm. So, and, the, and, and this person wanted to maybe be, and she Ooh. would and she would have been if she if you it was like i i get when you were two or three maybe my great grandmother it was a, it was an old lady let's put it that yeah. way my aunt's mom. i don't know i don't remember her but it could be no but it was like you don't remember her but she but remembers you of, yeah she's right. part of you and because mm. I, I know it's definitely not a bloke that or a man that came through yeah it must be um, my great grandma yeah Yeah. and she wanted she wanted to give this message across i you know if i'm taking over that message is going to be correct (laughs) in a lot of ways 
Um, yeah. And it, like I, if I remember correctly, because I can't remember a lot of it, um, she, you you won't didn't won't notice it yet. You know, you've got to start opening your eyes to see these things. But these, mm. you know, because they're two different readings as well. You know, two different ways of reading. Um, mm. If, like I say. Um, yeah, I'm curious about that one. I'm going to sit on that one and think about it. I'm probably going to have to replay and watch the video again to think no, about it. Because, because there are people that say, no, it's not going it's not going to happen. It's not going to do this, not going to do that. I'm not saying it will, but if... Um, there could be a possibility. But it'll, you'll notice it. I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure you'll notice it. And it won't be something that goes against you. It'll be something that's good. You know. Well, I like that. I like positive feedback. Mm. So that's definitely a vibe. Yeah. But when, 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 well, if, if, when they said about the angels and you're going to be up there, mm. you know, I thought, wow. Because you've been, you've been trained all your life. Mm. Well, everyone says that. Everyone says, I don't know, there's something different about me. I'm not talking myself up, but everyone says there's something about me from my age that I'm like an old soul. I'm very like mature, you know, mm. I'm very different and very talented for the age I am. So yeah, it does ring a few bells. And you just, like you say, you just have to think about it. Um, mm. Yeah, just get. Your, your mum said Auntie Vicky. I don't know if that's meant to mean anything. Is that my godmother? It must be my godmother. Yeah, your mum said Auntie Vicky. Might be my godmother. No, that's not my godmother. That's I don't know who she is. Maybe. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> She'll be phoning you in a sec. I don't. No, I and don't your remember. auntie Mel's going to be ringing you too. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Mm. But look forward to it. Oh, um, your mum said it's your nan's best friend. Oh, Auntie Vicky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I can't see the messages so because I'm on Zoom. But that no, makes no, sense. no, that's all right. Um, I, I had a look. It's about an hour and a half into the, the live. So, like, if you want to listen to it again after or watch it, you'll be yeah. able to watch it. Um, yeah. I don't know, it might be a little bit before an hour and a half, but you'll see it because once you see that you come onto the screen, that's I'll zoom into it, yeah. Yeah, all right. Roll along, you'll see yourself. <laughs> oh, your auntie's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> oh, she is. Would it be Mel without a laugh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Has she got, like, a hearty laugh, like your auntie? She's hilarious. She's someone yeah. that you just can't get enough of. There's no Mel in my, if you don't have a Mel in my family, there's no family. You need Mel. Uh, <laughs> that's so nice. Mm. You need an Auntie Mel. Hey, Auntie She's Mel. She's saying that you're like her. Yes, unfortunately, but I'm the better looking <laughs> one. <laughs> that's, I reckon that's good. I think it's a good trait to have. And, you know, People like that, they raise other people's vibration. You know, they uplift other people. And, you know, you yeah. don't know someone, yeah, well, someone could be feeling so low and having a bad day and you've just made them happier. You've put a smile on their face. Oh, so. if you heard Mel on the phone, you wouldn't know who's who. My nan gets us mucked up all the time. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So you guys yeah. sound the same. But, yeah. Uh, Thank you so much for uh, your auntie's laughing, actually. <laughs> both hairdressers, yeah, I know, Lee. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much for joining us and letting, giving us the opportunity to do this reading for you. Um, All right, thank you. Having you on here. And meeting, I think we've met everyone. We saw your mum and we saw your mum. Video. I tried finding mum's one. I can't find it. 
No, your mum didn't have hers on video, but she. Oh, okay. um, your sister um, sort of, or she photobombed your sister's video. Yeah, I saw <laughs> I don't that know, one. Whatever you want to call it. But we haven't seen your auntie Mel. She's the only one we haven't seen. <laughs> or our other auntie Michelle. Oh, okay. Oh, what about your the family friend? Um, what was her name? Um, she was on here before. Candice. Uh, no. Oh, oh Annie? Candace is another one, is it? Yeah, Candace is my oh, girlfriend. Oh, there's, there's so many. There's so there's many of you. I would love to pay to do a reading for my girlfriend. Honestly, I would love to. That's definitely one I'd love. Angelique. Oh, Annie. Oh, you call her Annie. Yeah, We're that's mum's best a, friend. Um, a psychic party on the 8th of May on Zoom. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Um, Angelique, oh, she's highlighting her. <laughs> ha haven't seen Thomas yet. Who's Thomas? Oh, my brother. He's my little oh. brother. Oh, you, you, you know, you haven't included him. We haven't seen him. Honestly, he, he, your he is the best young boy you could ever ask for. Honestly, okay. hands down, he, any girl that marries this boy, is going to win the lottery ticket. This Aww. guy, last night, I needed him so bad. My partner's a prison officer, so he wasn't home, and the dog only just got home last night, so I needed to go to the shops. But because the dog has stitches, I can't leave him on his own. So I messaged Tom at 8.30, and I said, can you please go to Coles for me? Not even with a second of doubt. He got in the car, didn't even tell mum, he just left. When I got everything I needed and come over on a work night, mind you, this kid honestly is a blessing. He is the oh, best, nice. like anything you could ask for. Yeah, that's so nice. How old is he? Is he available? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he'll be 18 in August. Yeah, he'll uh, be 18 in August. Yeah, no, it's too old for me. I mean, too young. <laughs> <laughs> too old for you. Uh, honestly, he's a gem. I mean, I'm he's too old. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I think we've got a few more people on that are looking for a reading, and uh, yeah, it's not nice. so getting... much though. Lovely to thank meet you. Most welcome. And we're yeah, getting to meet. Lovely you. to meet you too. You know? Thank you so much for your readings. I'm definitely going to go back on and have a read of it. Uh, watch it yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah, do that. It, I don't think you can replay it until the live's finished. Until you're finished live. Yeah. 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 All, All right. right, well, have a great night, guys, and thanks yes, again. Sweetie. No, sweetie. thank you. For, yeah, just thank you to you. Thank you. See you later. We'll bye. see you in the comments. See you. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Okay. I'm good. That was good. Thank you. That was uh, so nice. Thank you. It was lovely having her on there. Hi, Anna. Oh, really? <gasps> really? Wow. Wow. Did you write see what Anna wrote? No. Not yet. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Oh, right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, send the video. That'd be fun to watch yeah, that. Yeah, we'll have to check it out after the live. Mm. You're most welcome, Tanisha. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you, Tanisha, for her, for your... Uh... Yeah, I really want to see this video. Oh, my goodness. That's how, oh, it just sounds like it, it's just getting more and more, doesn't it, Anna? Mm. Wow. Wow. No, you know, um, yeah, but it, it is. It, it, it's an amazing um, thing that when people do notice it, um, you know, it, it sometimes scares them and sometimes doesn't. But, you know, you just have to just ask, just ask a question. Why? <laughs> ask them for a chat.
Christelle. Oh, I'll have to watch it. Is that the link you sent me? Is that the video, Anna? I'll have to watch it after the live. I'm dying to watch it now. Mm. Yeah, I can see you've sent me the link to it. But, yeah, I will watch it after this. We'll watch it together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll, message you back. we'll message you back after we've watched it tonight yeah. or after the live. <laughs> we'll get the popcorn out. I'm getting the times mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, that was great. Um, oh, so who's, who's up yeah. next? You know, Lee, when you wish for things especially when you very passionately want those things, you're, you're setting an intention out into the universe and that causes it, it to be manifested. Um, and that's, you know, that would be why they, they come true because you think about it passionately. Um, it's like when you really want something, you, your feelings all create this energy that make it happen. Um, so that's how that happens. Yeah, I'm just, I mean, I can't wait to see it, Anna. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll message you after the live, after we've watched it. I won't, yeah. I've written it down so I don't forget to watch it after this. Definitely. But, um, but you know, Lee, it's a good thing that that happens. Make sure that you wish for good things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but. Uh... Have, have we got any more wonderful people that would like a uh, a reading or mini reading? Uh, can, have you got one you can pick there, Silvana? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Nicola, Nicola would like one. Okay. Oh, did you did you wish for it, Lee? I'm sure she would have. He is um. Is that going to be your first grandchild? It, will you be grandmother for the first time when Shania has her baby? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm. Wow. Um, Joss, I'm just going to do a, a mini reading for Nicola. Um, she's shared our live and you'll see she's got share above her name. So you just need to share our live publicly um, and that will um, give you that share badge. You'll see all the others have it too. Um Okay, Nicola, I'm going to start pulling out some cards for you. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so this is for Nicola. Yeah, so. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Thomas is your son, isn't he? Is he on as well? Is he? I haven't seen him comment. Hi, Haley. How are you? Hello, Haley. Um, oh. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, because I haven't seen, I've been going through the, the comments, so I haven't seen half of the people. <laughs> to apologise, but. Uh, oh, he is, is he on? Yeah, no, they call him Tom, okay. <laughs> Hi, Faith. How are you? Thank you, Lee, for letting Joss know. Yeah, but it's just been weird that we've had a whole family <laughs> on it <here> today. <laughs> it's like they're lifting the energies, the wonderful energies, you know? And uh, yeah, wow. You got Lee, you know, her, her fingers must be hurting <laughs> doing all this typing. <laughs> yeah. I bet you Lee's really fast. She's, you know, how some people go, did, 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 did. I bet you she's like that. Wow. Hello, Faith. Or unless she's doing it on her laptop. Yes. Computer. Yeah, but there are people, like you say, that can really type fast. Me. It, I'm a two finger typer, but it still works. <laughs> I know it's, it's strange, isn't it? We've got a whole family all watching us, and you know, but we're still getting, you know, that wonderful energy, then wonderful, wonderful family members, um, as we call you, you know. Well, and it's it's actually right today, all family members. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we've got everyone. Mum's mm. on her phone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Lee's a service manager, always typing. That's why. Yeah. I remember the old days when you used to have a proper typewriter and you get your thing, you go in typewriting and you get your finger caught. I actually. Yeah, the manual typewriters. Yeah. Where it goes, I, I used to have an Olivetti. Right, That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I remember when I was at school, uh, we used to do, you know, I know they thought it was a girl thing, but, you know, men, men type too, um, you know, and we all basically went into a typing class just to... Yeah, you know, just to see, um, yeah, you know, just to teach us. I'm, I'm sure. I think they, they'd premise, you know, that they, they, um, they knew the computers were coming in, so they were just getting people ready. I think. Um, well, that's one. <laughs> yeah, oh, you type with one finger. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. No, I, I type with. Uh, too, which is strange, but you know, it's uh, it's just it's just one of them things. It's just how how comfortable you are. I see these people, and they just tap 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 tap, tap and then and you think, how did you do that so quick? <laughs> you know, and I'm going, no, nope. as long as long as I know that I can type out the right comment or the, the right letter or whatever. And it's all correct. I don't care. As long as one finger, two fingers, you know, ten fingers and a thumb or two thumbs. <laughs> it's fun, though, you know. But we all, with all this computer stuff, we all have to learn. Yeah, thank you. Most welcome, Tanisha. Yeah. I was about to say to your mum, she must have a, bion a bionic finger, like re really fast. I'll be like, oh, she's got long nails. That's how. Right. Yeah, she probably uses the tip of her nails. <laughs> no, but it just it just reminds me of an advert that we've got here, uh, where one finger is just because people have been tapping on the computer or on their phone, and that one finger's. Had a, having a workout, so it looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's, it's had a good workout. <laughs> He's just building the muscle up in that one finger. Ah, <laughs> oh. 
Siri. Oh, um, no. Nicola, I, I've got... Um, it's just interesting um, what I'm getting for you here. <laughs> um, Nicola, I feel that you've been through some sort of heartache. Um, somebody's let you down. Um, this is either a, um, you know, someone that you've been in a relationship with or a very close friend. Um, you know, you, your close friends can also be a soulmates. This is someone that you were very close with. I feel has let you down. And, um, you know, at the moment you are being helped by spirit to heal. Um, it, it's, they're, or they're helping you as well, perhaps to repair what has happened. I feel that maybe there's been some disharmony, um, you know, but I, because I've also, something else I've pulled out, actually, because um, I've pulled out the compassion card, which, um, you know, is telling me that for you to be open and see the other side of this as well, um, you know, just to release any judgments that you have about yourself and of the situation um, and focus on the love and the light. Um it's yeah I, I just feel that um, you need to open up your heart for this one for it to be sorted out um, now I've got here that if this is all about um, I'll just show you this one with a lady that's got the the sand She's got the dirt in her hand and um, she's letting it run through her finger, something that's normally done when you're about to start a fight. Um, and, and it's all about um, that it, it's not, not to do that. It, it's not time to be aggressive. Um, you know, you need to go through healing. Don't be aggressive. The aggressiveness will only cause more problems, will only put um, more blockages there for you to then have to work through and pull down. Um, you do have spirit um, and angels around you that are um, there to help you um, with this reconnection, with sorting out this situation. And um, it will turn out in a way that you won't expect it to. Um, it, it will be like, almost like magic um, you'll think, wow, you know, I wasn't expecting it to turn out like this, but it'll be for the good. Now, um, I feel that um, because we all need an outlet as well um, when we go th through things like this, because, uh, you know, not to bottle anything up. Sometimes, you know, bottling things up, uh, not releasing them uh, can make it worse for you. You can feel bogged down and... Um, Feel open to uh, to stay, or feel um, keep yourself open to creative ways of releasing this energy uh, while this situation is being resolved. So um, maybe there's like a, something you've had in your mind for a while that you'd like to pursue. So in other words, something to take your mind off this because. I feel that the more that you focus on this, the, the worse it will get. Um, so it, it's to look at it with love and doing something so creative to take your mind off it will put you in that state um, and take you away from the aggressiveness of it. Uh, so that's all I can really get for you. But um, I hope that that helps you. I'd love to hear if that resonated. Paul will see what he can get for you. And just before Paul starts, I would like to say hello to Paul Holmes. Nice to see you again. Mm. Oh, hello, Paul. Nice to have someone with the same name. 
<laughs> it's a good name. But, uh, you know, we're saints. It's a yes, saint's name. Cool. So, yeah. 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 Very good name. Very good name. And that's why I do believe I do this because St. Paul and all that lot. Yeah. But uh, let's see what we can get with it. It's Nicola, yes? Or Nicola? Yes, Nicola. Okay. Thank you, Nicola, for coming on and supporting us today. Thank you. Oh, that's very funny. Okay, right. <laughs> okay. What, what I seem to be getting with yourself is it just seems to be, it feels like, I don't know why, it just feels like there's a lot of anger there for some reason. It just feels like you, you, there's moments of why is this not happening? Why is that not happening? Why is this not happening? But you, you now need to start, start taking control of of your own life and your own and your own you know journey because there's there's been too many people that are that have been making it their journey and not yours. Okay, it's your turn to start coming out of the out of the gutter, basically. You have to lift and and just make sure that when when things are going the wrong way, you start to think, how can I change this to make it go the right way? But you've got what you've basically got to do is there's certain people that need to be either just moved away or just you know, basically put to one side. It's not, it's just like they've been moved to one side, but they, they'll still try and get closer, you know. But there are some that will need, that will help you that and guide you and help you become a person that, again, that you've never experienced before, okay? There will, like I say, there will be changes. There will be, there'll be some changes, again, that a lot of people will notice, okay? But uh, you've got to uh, make sure that you, again, notice these challenges that are coming, okay? And cha changes that will, will, which will take you down a certain road. There will be, you know, um, there, there will be definitely a spirit, any person that will come in. I do believe that, and they're saying that you actually do see spirit, but you don't acknowledge it. You're you're more scared of it than than you should be. Okay, they they're just basically teaching you to be you. Okay, they're learning you. They're showing you what you could have. Okay, and you, if you move away from it, what you could have will you know your life it won't go downhill and, and they'll still be there for you but you just need to make sure that you start to listen and understand okay you've got to keep going yeah um because things you know it takes time they take time to take you to where you need to go but you're the one that needs to take yourself there also okay i don't know why i'm getting something to do with moving uh with uh with this as well it's either moving forward on your journey in the sense of spiritual journey because i'm getting another one with spiritual journey everyone seems to be opening up today i reckon it was i think this is something to do with the the super moon that we had last night because that tends to give a lot of energy out and if it's nothing to do with that I do believe it's something you're going to be moving to a different location. Um, it's either to do with work or just moving house. Okay. It's something it might, hmm, what I'm getting with that is you're moving 
so you're closer to work. Okay, it's weird how the way that one's going, but you have to schedule. You have to schedule things because this is very important for yourself. This is very very important. Okay, and you need to make th make sure that everything's in the right place. Make sure everything's in the right box. Make sure you've ticked the right boxes. Make sure you've, uh, you know, uh, done the right paperwork. Make made sure that everything's ready to go. Basically, you just need to make sure that <clears throat> when it does happen, that you get the right group of people helping you to to do this, to move, to to make sure that you're in the right location at that time, okay? Make sure that the right group of people are around you to help you because you'll get the lazy bombs. Oh, I know this is, is and, you, and you'll get the, the ones that will put the effort in, okay? But uh, also, you, need, you do need to get out into nature. I don't know why they've done this, but this one is a big one for you. You do need to get back outside. You need to get back outside and start enjoying what life can offer you out there. Yeah, the energy is out there. You need to be grounded. You need to be grounded so much, okay? You need to get out there, listen to the bird song, listen to everything. Mother Nature will provide you with what you need, okay? Mother Nature will provide you with the people to talk to and just to get out there. But also, I don't know what this is, um, meaning but there's some certain details that also I, I said this about I said this a minute ago about uh, certain things need to be sorted and there's some certain details certain names certain um, certain paper yeah again it's certain paperwork okay these details certain, certain things on certain paperworks need to be correct because if it's not correct then it comes back and you have to fill it out fill it again fill it in again okay but you've got to learn from yourself and from the spirit world and from certain people around you okay don't don't let yourself down because you're going to be you're going to be an amazing person well you are an amazing person anyway but you do need to start to listen to yourself more, okay? You need to listen to yourself more and more and more, okay? Work will help you, you know, if, um, yeah, just things from work will guide you. I don't know why, what this is to do with, but it just seems like work is your, your release place okay but you've got to make sure that when you're when you're there everything's again in the right boxes Ooh, on me so i'm going to leave that one with you um and let you uh hopefully that will resonate with yourself and uh thank you thank you for coming in nicola and letting us do these mini readings for yourself Thank you. Oh, thank you. Lee, I like crazy. <laughs> She'll fit in just fine. <laughs> uh, Nicola, are you still on? I'm just wondering whether Nicola was still on because I, I didn't see anything from her. Mm. Um, <laughs> she might have gone. I just wanted to see if that resonated with her. Mm. <laughs> uh, no, I, 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 I think um, she'd fit right in, Lee. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you know, she can probably see what you're writing. <laughs> Uh, so are you still there, Nicola? I think she's gone. Okay. I just was uh, wanting to see whether that resonated with her. Oh, well. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, no, wherever she is. Hopefully. Yeah, she's disappeared. She's gone MIA. <laughs> Hello, Emma. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I thought you were gone. Uh, Hello, Annette. Oh, Hello. that's all right. You're not quick like Lee. You need to take some lessons from Lee, Nicola. Mm -hmm. Nicola, um, Lee, Nick, um, uh, sorry, Nicola, Lee has a bionic finger with the fingernail. So, and she's really fast. <laughs> uh, but no, thank you so much. And I, I'm glad that that resonated uh mm. oh lee mel is back <laughs> yes i think she knew we were talking about her <laughs> but um you know i, I want to uh, thank everyone that's come on um i'm just for the people that have come in and didn't hear before we are actually on the 8th of may which is a saturday we will actually be having a, a psychic party on zoom um there'll be myself and paul and six other people. So we will only have six people there. Um, and it will go for about three hours. Everyone will get um, mini readings from both of us and um, we'll all be able to interact with one another. If you're interested in joining us, um, please message this page um, to purchase a ticket. <laughs> Uh, just message this page. It it is the cost is fifty English pounds, and um, it will uh, reserve your place, so you can be one of the six. And that's for the eighth of May. It will be seven p.m. Melbourne time, which is ten a.m. UK time on Saturday the eighth of May. Um, like if someone's interested and they're not in any of those places, you can just check on the world uh, time converter. If you're not sure, I can send you a link to it. Um, yeah, no, no. If you go, if you guys come to Melbourne, you have to bring Mel. That's part. That's part of the conditions. I want to meet Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you only type with one finger as well, Paul. Okay. Well, right. I must but, be special because uh, I, I, I type with two. <laughs> you know, uh, no, uh, Paul's going to come here. So you guys can meet him here. <laughs> <laughs> Lee wants us to go over there to do, like, to have the party there. Right. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. We'll all get arrested together, Lee. We'll all be in the same cell. You know, we'll be crazy enough that they'll kick us out. They won't want us in there. Right, so think, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> we, can't, we can't do a show from, from a cell. No, they won't keep us in there because they'll, they'll be worried that um, we'll incite craziness in everybody else that's there. And Mel will be with us, so there'll be quite a few of us that are in that way. So um, I don't think we've got anything to worry about. <laughs> but um, thank you so much to everyone that's joined us. Uh, it's everyone that, uh, yes, Mel, I'm in too. <laughs> uh, Cheryl will bail us out. No, yeah, Mel will help us get us kicked out, yes. <laughs> Hi, Misty. Uh, oh, it was so much fun. I think we, it would just be laughter the whole time. But, uh, yeah, so thank you to everyone that's joined us, everyone that has given us an opportunity to read for them. It's been wonderful. You know that we consider you all as family here in this group. Um, and it's not just about readings. We love the interaction and having the conversations. Definitely. Um, Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it, we've actually come to the end of our live. Uh, Paul, did you want to say anything before we go? 
Yeah, I just want to say thank you. Uh, similar to what you've said, um, I just want to say thank you to the whole family that turned up. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, Lee and the gang. Um, and I appreciate every single one of you for letting us read you today. And now I, I know sometimes, you know, well, we, well the, the idea is just to get you out there, lift your energies, lift our energies, have some fun, you know, not going to, not going to a police cell. And, uh, <laughs> but no, one day, who says, who says it won't happen? One day we will all meet. Uh, but um, thank you to each and every one of you again for supporting us and sharing us and getting us out to all those wonderful people. So thank you. Yeah, um, okay. yeah go on. Sorry. I was going to say, Custody, I didn't know you were you were still there. Is that you've been listening all this time? I didn't know. I'm sending you lots of love too. She sent us all this love. No, thank you. Um, Lee said, look out, Paul. Lucky you're not in Australia. Mel would hunt you down. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, she might be able to do that soon, but uh, it's, uh, it's been so nice to have everyone on here. No, and it's been amazing. So thank you. Time and they, they listen. That's fantastic. But um, we'll be back on on Thursday night. Yep, <laughs> Thursday night. Uh, ran about the same time again, and uh, it'd be great to see everyone. But um, we have to say goodbye now. Big kiss to everyone, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Yeah, you you take care of yourselves. Have a great day, night, or wherever you are. You. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>